Alright guys, welcome back to some classic gaming here. We're playing some PDC Pro Tour World Championship from 2010. So man, we're over a decade old here, but we're still alive. We're, we're keeping this game alive. And we're going to be doing a career mode with the Flying Scotsman, Gary Anderson. We're going to be flying the flag for Scotland. This was, this was before Gary Anderson won anything, so... Uh, we're going to take over and we're going to we're going to put Scotland on the map and we're going to try and overtake uh, the legendary Phil Taylor at the top of the dark world. This will be a, a once a week series so if you want to see it more than that then hit the like button as hard as you can. If you don't want to see it then don't worry guys because like I said it's only once a week so fuck me 15 minutes 20 minutes of your, of your week you can't you can't uh, donate that to me. Poor poor fucking form. Poor form indeed. But anyway let's go with Gary Anderson. We're ranked 24th in the world. Free dart average is supposed to be 95. I don't know whether I can live up to that 95 or not. And we're playing with 22 dark grams. It doesn't tell you where Abutsi is from in Scotland, but it doesn't really matter. So here we go. We're in the career mode menu. We're ranked 24th in the world, which should qualify us for most uh, tournaments, but I think there's a few that we won't make it. I think there's a few we might miss out on because of that rank. So we need to try and go up uh, as high as we can. Statistics, we haven't played anything yet, so. There's nothing to look at. Trophies, we haven't won any trophies yet, so again, nothing to look at here. The order of merits, so you can see Taylor's first, Barney's second, and where are we? We are 20, uh, 24th, and I think we want to try and get into the top 16. Top 16 guarantees you qualification for every tournament, and we are not that far behind, actually. We're only like 11, 12, say 12,000 off Kevin Painter. So that's got to be the aim, guys. We need to try and get to 16th, and so we need to we need 12 grand, 12 grand, let's go and do it. Look at the uh, calendar. We've got the UK Open up first. We are in that, the World Match Play. We will be in that, top 28. We won't be in the European Championships, but that's, that's in two events time. So if we perform well in the, the next upcoming two events, then we might actually qualify for the uh, European Championships. Then we've got the World Grand Prix, tw top 24. We're just about in that, the Grand Slam's open. And then the uh, the World Championship coming up at the end of the season. So let's start then with the UK Open. Who are we getting? It's an open draw, so you can practically get anybody. And we've been drawn against Kevin Painter. We've actually this is great for us actually. The reason being that is Kevin Painter's sixteenth, and that's who we're trying to catch. So we can essentially knock him out here and take away his prize money. It's, well, it's great if we beat him, but it's, it's it's fucking shit if we don't. If we lose to him, then it's a it's a big it's a big botch. So we'll need to make sure that we get the win. Right, here we go, getting welcomed out here to the uh, the stage by John McDonald, ready to play some darts, ready to throw some arrows, ready to impale the board. Doesn't get much more hardcore than this. Look at all those Union Jacks. Let's burn them down. Let's put let's put its uh, Scotland flag up there. Gary Anderson, here he comes. Flying Scotsman. Looking a bit fat here, Gary Anderson. I thought 2010 he was still pretty slim. Maybe maybe this game maybe the, whoever made this game just thought all dark players were fat and so it's like right, we're gonna make his character model as if he's just spent 24 fucking hours in McDonald's eating non-stop. I guess that's what they were going for. And now we're taking on the artist, Kevin Painter. Will Kevin be doing much art against us? Hopefully not. Hopefully we can uh, snap his brush, take away his canvas. But here he comes, 2003, 2004 should I say, finalist. And this is it then. Yuki Oma, I believe it's 56. 56 and we're throwing first, so here we go. I am used to playing with Barney, so I don't know. Gary Anderson's got a totally different throw, so it might take me a few legs to get up to, to, up to the pace, but we will we'll start off here and we can see what we can do. Well, there you go, treble 20 straight away. I am the man. I will not be defeated. Oh my god, two treble 20 straight away. Oh, I mean, does it get any better than that? Gary Anderson kicks off with a 180. Oh my god, it's easy as that. Holy shit. But if we do that, we'll be we'll be winning titles left, right, and centre. Completely uh, taking care of Kevin Painter here. 
let's see if we can, oh my god, four trebles in a row, and this is on the hardest difficulty as well, oh my fucking god, ah, oh, right, okay, we bottled it, we bottled it, But here, I mean, <laughs> we're at this level 20 for fun, just keep this up and we'll be alright. We will be alright, 101 then remaining, and all level 20 would leave us 41. And we get it, so they go 41 after 9 darts. I mean, does it get any better than that? Does it get any better than that? Kim Painter, all he can do is throw. And now it's going to be one double top then for Gary Anderson. Double top then to take the opening leg. Get in. That is that is phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal from Gary Anderson. I tell you what, at this stage of his career, he hadn't won a PDC title. It's not going to be long before he wins one with us holding the controller. I can tell you that much. What a start that was. Absolutely on fire here. An 11 daughter to uh, win the opening leg. Phenomenal. We're having 130. God damn it. Yeah, a nice turn there, 100. I just hope we can play this sort of game when we come up against the likes of Taylor, Whitlock, Barney. Yeah, we're hitting this, we're hitting this level 20 regularly here. Back to back tons in, keeping us in this leg. But Painter seems to be performing a wee bit better now, he's, he's up to scoring a bit. Oh Christ, okay. And there you go, that's our first visit with a treble 20, so... Looks like Kevin Painter's actually going to level up then after that amazing opening leg fails so with uh, no, no. let Kevin back in. And then 100. We've got 141, Painter on 123. 120 now, he can't go out. Pushing All he can do is set it up and he's travel 20 to lead double top. Mm, he's left 80. Can we take it a 141? Well, we've got the first one, travel 20. It's going to be travel 19 now. 62 remaining. 62 remaining. We're we going to go, I think we'll go with the travel 10. Uh, we've missed it, only hit a single. 52 left though when we come back. If we come back, Kevin Painter needs 60. He's got to go 20 double top. Painter looks a bit pissed off here. But he's got a chance to level up, so... Will he take it? He doesn't. He misses, and that could end it there. That could be Painter's chance gone. 12 then for Anderson, double top now. To go 2 0 up. Oh no, we've had a 5. Awful. Awful there. We'll hit the 15 to leave double 10. Same double as Painter. He gets the first crack at it and he gets it. So he levels up 1 1 in the UK Open. Should have been 2 0 us. Oh, treble 20, man. We're back in. Firing in these trebles. Turn 40. That second leg wasn't the greatest from us, but maybe it was, maybe it was just a wee minor blip. Maybe we can back, get back to the, the form of the opening leg. You know, another turn 40, so turn 40, turn 40 and leg 3 leaves us 2-2-1 two, two, after 6. Kevin Painter, doesn't really matter what he do here, he's going to be behind regardless. 
He's about 135 behind. And now it's just all about us trying to set up this next shot. 1-4-1 one, one remaining. Another ton 40, so three ton 40s in this leg. Boom, boom, boom. Kevin Painter's not allowed in our room. We've got 81 left. I uh, cannot see Painter getting back into this leg. It looks like it's going to be 2-1 to Gary Anderson, the flying Scotsman. Treble 19, double 12 is the uh, the way to go here. There's a the treble 19. And there's going to be double 12 to go 2-1 up. Oh, we've pulled it very wide there. Alright, so we've missed two darts at double 12, but I mean, nothing to fear. We've got a massive gap over Painter. And then Painter now puts a bit of pressure on, but here we go, double 12. There you go. Anderson is double 12, and he takes a 2 1 lead. But at the moment, there's been no breaks of throw, so we're still on throw. Painter shouldn't really be fearing it too much. He's still. He's really no better at all. He's no worse off than he was at the start of the match. He's went into the five there. Right, okay, come on. Let's put the pressure on. Let's try and break here and go three one up. Oh, here we go. Anderson's going to try and. Go through the middle here, we are 180, no he can't, he's too much power on it, but turn 40 is more than enough to give us the advantage in this leg. Painter not having the greatest game here, and it doesn't help him that we're having probably the best game we'll ever have. Oh my god, we're absolutely on fire here. Turn 80 there from Gary Anderson, leaves 181. We're 205 in front. And only 41 from Painter, so we can set this up just in another treble 20. I mean, this is absolutely phenomenal. Just a ton this time. But we've left 81. I don't even think Painter can leave a finish, regardless of where he hits here. He can't, so he only leaves a ton. And we're going to go treble 19, double 12 again. Just missed the treble 19. Go for the treble 10 now. Treble 10, now double 16. To take a 3 1 lead. And we have. No, that's not good. It fell it's awful short there. No one power on it. But I tell you what, there was absolutely no pressure on us. There was no pressure on us to get that. This time, double 16. To go 3 1 up. Mm. Wide on the wire again. Oh, and then we went into the 8, so now it's going to be double 12. This, this part of our game is letting us down a bit. And we've missed double 12 now, so now we're on double 6. I mean, this must be affecting our average a wee bit. Hundred and seventeen from Peter. Right, we need to take this now because he is getting pretty close. And there you go, double six. Took us a lot longer to get it than it should have. But hey, better late than never. We've got a three-one lead now. We're throwing to make it four-one. We're into the fives, that's no good. Followed up though with a nice uh, treble 20. I've got to assume that we are... I've got to assume that we're averaging over 100. So we're playing really well. Oh, me, why are we going into the fives all of a sudden? Two fives, oh my god, a treble five and a single five. And now that you know we are Ken Painter, we'll have an opportunity to break back here, especially if he can fire in another treble 20. He does not 100, but puts some oh, quite a bit in front here, so.
Why can't we find any more treble twenties? Finally, we get one in hundred. But Painter in front with the darts now. Realistically, a ton will get him to a finish first. And he does what we done. Five and treble five. And now we're back into the treble twenties. Come on. Another treble twenty. Can we get a one eighty here? We can, a third 180 of the match. That's more like it. That's what we want to see. This is a 96, new painter. Looked like he was going to get back into the game here, 3-2, but now it's looking more like 4-1. It's going to be treble 20, double 18. 76 remaining, treble 20, double 8. We've got the treble 20, now it's double 8. Boom, double 8, bang in the middle. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. A 4-1 lead for Gary Anderson in the UK Open. Painter is uh, not only good for Kevin Painter, let's put it that way. I would I would pick up your phone, mate. I would dial a taxi and I would tell him to park outside in the next five minutes because I think your tournament could be coming to an end. I mean, we're averaging 103.2 at the moment. And Painter's averaging 75, so how could he really... I'm surprised he's even won a leg, to be fair. Hundred and three average is phenomenal. I would love to up it to one hundred and five though. Let's see if we can do that. It's our doubles that have brought it down. The fact that we've been pretty poor on the doubles. Oh, this is great for Gary Anderson. This is phenomenal. Oh, and then my time we slide into the five. Shouldn't open my mouth. Should not have opened my mouth. But again, we're looking strong here for a break of throw to go five one up. Gary Anderson again, he, he's back into the treble bed. Turn 40. Yeah, he's got that throw absolutely measured perfectly now. Oh, bad snatch. So 136 for Anderson. Will he take it? First one's in. Can you get the other one? No, I have overshot it. Um, 16 double top then. Why is Painter celebrating? Really, when he's on 211, he's 4-1 down, he's about to go 5-1 behind, but he's celebrating because we're not going to take out on that visit. I mean, we're just going to come back next time and hit it, so it seems like a waste of celebration. And here we go. Alright, we've missed it, so double 10. Painter will be sitting there, I think he's got a chance, considering that we have missed our doubles in this match so far. We've missed that one as well. On the wire, then double 10. And this time we've come inside, so... The only time it's good to come inside if it's uh, Margot Robbie, Harley Quinn. Unless it's that, if it darts then you never want to come inside, and that's that's a big mistake there for Gary Anderson. Shouldn't he be doing that? Should not be doing that. 4-2, so Painter gets one back. On 40, bang. Let's shut this painter hype train down. Don't want to give him any sniffy a comeback. Come on, Gary, this is, this is more like it. Come on, Gary, this is definitely more like it. Yes, 180. Boom! That's what we want to see. Brilliant precision. Oh, we're this is phenomenal. This is absolutely phenomenal. Treble 7 will leave double top. And we get treble 7. So double top will become back. Painter back on 3 5 4. By God Almighty. Painter. Not in a good time here. Six. 
So double top to go four two up, uh, five two up. Oh no, it just came underneath. Now it's double ten. We get the double ten, we go five two up. And uh, that should really put the game to bed. I cannot see Painter winning four legs in a row. But we, we won't give him a chance. We'll make sure we win this one. And we will finish it at six legs to two. Don't I give him any chance of a comeback? Don't call it a comeback. Yeah, it won't be a comeback. There'll be nothing. There will be absolutely nothing for Kevin Painter in this match. We're going to finish him in the next two minutes here. That's a treble 20. Can we fit another dart in? Oh, pulled it, pulled it. Way left there, into the treble five. Well, what their average was 105.1, so we're doing something right. Again, we're beginning to hit the big scores here. Underneath, can we just lift the dart wee bit? We can, that's much better. And there's another ton 40, so against the throw, we're looking good. We're looking really good. Painters banged in a treble 20. He'll need a few more though, he's got one more, can he get another one, can he fill it up? Peter's first 180 of the match, he's just about missed it, but that keeps him somewhere in this leg. But he, oh yes, we're, we're just, this is phenomenal for Gary Anderson. This is a guy that can definitely go ahead and win this UK Open. Ton 40, leaves 126, Painter on 216, Painter with a treble 20, Painter now, he needs another one you feel, 5, that's not good. Should probably switch, should go for the bull. Will he go for the bull? No, he's went for 20, he's left 131, that's got to be considered a mistake. And now we're going to be going through the treble 19 route. So we need treble 19 bull. We miss it, so we're going to give paint on a chance. Uh, I think we'll go for double treble 18. We'll get the treble 18, but I've miscounted, I've left double 17. I thought I was leading double 12. Oh, we've left 34 instead of 24. But Painter can't take it out. And uh, I think we'll just go for this. We'll just go for it. Oh, we've ke oh my god, we've hit the 17. It's going to be... 1... 1 double 8. Double 8 then. To end this match in dominant style. Boom! 6-2 win for the Flying Scotsman. Gary Anderson defeats Kevin Painter in the opening round of the UK Open. We'll have a look at the stats. We just dipped underneath 105 average, which is disappointing. But here, 104.68. That is that's phenomenal. That would um that would match that would be up there with Taylor, no doubt about it. They're not even showing Kevin Painter's stats. He was that pissed, I thought. Nah, you know what? We ain't gonna we ain't gonna show you his stats, but uh, yeah, there you go. We've managed to def defeat Kevin Painter by six legs to two. And that is us into the second round of the UK Open there, yeah, through the next round. Let's see what the other scores are. Colin Osborne, he gets through 6-0. There's um, Peter Wright's lost 6-1 to Mark Webster. James Wade beats Yella Class in 6-2. Robert Fortin, the other Scotsman in this competition, has beat Menzel Solifich 6-0. Ronnie Baxter's through 6-0 and then a bunch of no-name faceless people are through as well so who are we due to get at the moment? At the moment it's supposed to be Dennis Obams in round 2 and I don't know whether that'll change or not but at the moment we're supposed to be getting Dennis Obams in round 2 of this competition so that should be interesting if we beat him we're into round 3 and um, yeah we're, we're playing well if we play the way we played that last time we will definitely beat Devin Obams but anyway guys, that's it for the PDC Pro Tour career mode with the Flying Scotsman, Gary Anderson. If you've liked it, make sure you leave a subscription and a like down below. Comment if you want to see more of this. Comment if you don't want to see more of this, just comment for the sake of commenting. And until next time, being South Scotland 90, thanks for watching and peace.